We're here at Lugano Wine Bar in Santa Maria in the area of Old Greenwich in Greenwich, Connecticut. And I'm here with my special guest wife, Dana Pirelli. As this is one of my favorite restaurants in town and features my favorite menu item, the salami board. It's a mountain of meat and we're ready to dive in. This is Tell Mike Sandy. This episode of Tell Mike Send You is brought to you by Boldick Law. Boldick Law concentrates in both residential and commercial real estate and takes a client-centric approach. From accepted offer through closing, Boldick Law acts as the glue to keep the deal together with efficient and quality representation. Much like a great maitre d' at your favorite restaurant, Claire ensures a great product and experience. So this is the Mile High Salami Board at Lugano's, uh, brought to us by our, our star tender, star bartender, Tim. Tim, thank you. Uh, what do we have in front of us? Okay, so today I brought out for you, this is our prosciutto di parma, which we shave razor thin. This is parma cotto, which is essentially, it's an Italian cured ham, so it's boiled and then it's cooked. This here is our salami toscano, which has black peppercorns and red wine mixed into the curing process and then dried out for 12 months. And then this is salami copa, which is my personal favorite. It's a cured pork shoulder which is spicy so it's got a really really great fat content to it but it's not it's not so fatty that it's like you're eating prosciutto as well i like to tell people that it's kind of like a cross in between salami and prosciutto with the fat with the fattiness to it but it's not greasy in any way and it's got just the right amount of spice to it and it's absolutely delicious which one are you diving into first the wine and the spice all right you go that i might go I'm gonna go far left because the intersection of a salami and a prosciutto is where I want to be. And now that he said that, I'm tasting it. Because you get the creaminess and the buttery taste of a prosciutto, but then you get a little bite of a salami. On this one, there's just like a little tint of meat right at the end. Tint, that's good one. All right, I'm gonna go ham. What is this called? Oh. Parmacotta? Parmacotta? It's a good looking. Uh... I'm gonna try this. Mm. If that was on a ham and cheese, unbelievable. I think I'm gonna dive into the stracciatella, throw it on a. Uh, make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. For all my burrata fans out there, which I know there's tons, this is the inside. For all my burrata fans. I'm going fingers, I'm sorry. It's just us. I'm gonna do that. I'll do the prosciutto on this one. You going to night out? Date night? I mean, nothing's better than picking out a nice meat board with a little, uh, as Tim says, fixins. And you can just mix and match. And uh, you know, you have a nice drink, you have some good conversation. Uh, sometimes a full entree stresses me out. It's nice to be able to enjoy something together as opposed to getting individual meals. My favorite is when we get something and you don't like the thing I like, and then it's basically a divide down the center. And I know you're not going to come into my territory. Which is usually the case. Yeah. Not in this case, because we're all over the board. Right. Literally. So we asked him if he could make a drink, he made five. So Tim, what did you line up for us? So the drinks that I made for you here, I'll go from left to right. This is called the Manzana, which is on my cocktail menu currently and is my personal favorite. It has Patron Reposado tequila, apple cider, homemade cinnamon simple, a little bit of fresh lime juice, and St. Um, Grand Marnier. This is our Blackberry Slam, which has Hudson New York bourbon, also homemade cinnamon simple, fresh muddled blackberries, and lemon juice. This is our Aperol Spritz, which I actually did for Dana here. The way we do it on brunch, I brought it out in a carafe. This is the Bubbles and Berries, which I'm going to float some champagne on for you in just a second. And this is not advertised on our menu, but we sell a ton of here. Uh, this is our espresso martini, and what I like to do with them is I put the Baileys in at the end, just so that we can have this kind of layer action going on here. You can see it's going black to white towards the bottom. In this section, this is a new segment, we're going to each pick our favorite drink. Uh, and if we both pick the same one, we got to fight for it. So, one, two, three. Oh, you went too fast. Was that what you're gonna pick? But then I don't know. Oh, that's actually a good idea. It's like a draft. Like a draft. <laughs> you know what? I'll leave that for you. This is gonna be a good segment. Cheers. The double cheers. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, thank you. Making this date night special since 2021. 
So we're gonna finish up our mountain of meat here. Uh, we really didn't make a dent, uh, but we'll enjoy the drinks and do our best. Dana, you know, next time they stop into Lugano and see Tim behind the bar. Tell him Mike sent you. Thank you again to our episode partner. For all of your real estate representation needs, Boldick Law. Don't forget to tell Mike sent you.